Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Bell's Official. We're gonna see if this one hits a home run. So yeah, the Bell's Official, it's, uh, it's a hazy IPA. Pungent, it says pungent American hops combined with wheat and pills and malt result in a smooth, aromatic, juicy IPA. Well, since you love juicy IPAs so very much, you can go ahead and be the judge of that. Do the honors. Be the official. We're judging you, Bells. Eh. Uh, actually, I yeah, mean, that's not that hazy. Mm. Be modest on the pores, but. All right, so this one has a Zecca, El Dorado, Mosaic, Citra. I feel like mine just looks weird. It's like the stem is the only part. <laughs> nah, nah, it's... Okay, cool. It's slightly hazy-ish. It's got a really uh, kind of off yellow color, which, I don't know, to me that kind of irks me. Like, I want it to be really yellow. But you only really get that with like yeah. the haziest of hazy IPAs. I mean, I guess. it's hazy for sure. Um, but it's not like thick, cloudy, hazy. So it has like virtually no lacing that I can tell. It just kind of falls right back down into the glass. It doesn't really hang around too, too much. Mine does. Eh. Maybe it's a glasser. Yeah, no, yeah. mine's probably dirty. Mm. It doesn't really smell like anything. Does this have citra hops in it? Yeah. I'm getting more fruitiness than anything else, but let's okay. dive in and yeah. see what we get. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. 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 There's not a lot of know. body or complexity going on here. It's lighter than I thought it would be, like for sure. Yeah, I don't. I thought this was gonna be kind of like more pillowy mm. on the palate. Yeah. Um, and instead it's kind of, uh, it has a nice kind of clean finish to it. Yeah, I mean, that's, sense. yeah, I mean, it, it does. Um, it's it's a little bit more pilsnery than anything else, I feel like. It's not really like, it doesn't really have that body of an, the, yeah. the hazy IPA that I would expect. Uh -oh. Also, we couldn't f figure out why it's called official. Like, is there a baseball background to this? The website didn't say anything. Um, it just kind of says, hey, it's a hazy IPA, and, and that's it. It's got like a slight kind of, um, what I could describe as like a, a almost very vague medicinal quality to it. Very similar actually to the uh, Sam Adams um, Hazy Pale Ale. It just, it's this weird, slight kind of twinge to it. What is this, 7% almost? 6.4, so like, <sighs> bells man. That's a bit of a letdown. I just wish it had more body to it. And flavor. And flavor, yeah, it's definitely missing a lot of those delicious hazy IPA qualities. So, yeah, for me, it's gonna be a three. It's average. It just doesn't have the body or complexity that I've come to expect for something that's branded as a, a juicy, a hazy IPA. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Just a three, it's average. All right, well, that does it for us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and gently tap that bell button for notifications when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. <laughs>